going on guys? It's the Beastly Gamer here. Welcome back to the channel. Today we're going to talk about Xbox One, the original Xbox One or the Xbox One S and storage issues. Now, if you're like me, you know the, the pain and agony of having a 500 gigabyte hard drive in your current gen system. It just doesn't make any sense. A lot of games on PlayStation and Xbox One are anywhere from 30 to 50 gigs. So it's really, really hard to uh, pack all the games that you own onto an Xbox or a PlayStation and for the most part you're just not going to be able to do it. For all transparency I installed a two terabyte hard drive in my PlayStation 4 and it's still full. I still have games I can't install so I'll let you know that space and space constraints are a major issue this generation. Now apparently Seagate has offered an SSD option for Xbox gamers because unlike PlayStation 4 Xbox One, you are able to plug in an external hard drive source uh, and that will expand your hard drive space, which does make things a lot easier. I do have a 500 gigabyte hard drive uh, connected to my Xbox One. I play it less than my PS4, so 500 gigs makes perfect sense for me. Now this might kind of blow your mind a little bit because to me it might be a little overkill, but I'll drop a link in the description. Seagate's Xbox One SSD is ridiculously expensive and small. Seagate solved a space problem for Xbox One owners, but it also thinks gamers will be willing to pay $200 for some extra storage and the promise of faster load times. Seagate is set to start shipping the game drive for Xbox One SSD this month. It's an external drive that plugs into the front or back of your Xbox One and unlocks an extra 512 gigabytes of storage. Seagate claims that that's enough to store 15 games including all their DLC. Apparently the drive also cuts down on load times with transfer speeds of up to 440 megabytes per second. That may be true because it's an SSD, but surely it won't bring load times down that much seeing as the drive is connected over USB. If you're concerned about storage then Seagate has a better option in my opinion in the form of the hard drive version of this game drive. It's pretty much the same offering, but with a hard drive instead and for less money. The 2 terabyte version costs $86.99 and the 4 terabyte version is only $150. That larger drive is still $50 cheaper than the SSD game drive and offers 8 times the storage. Wowzers. So I don't know if you guys understand, connecting an, an SSD drive through USB to your Xbox One isn't going to mean diddly squat. SSDs shine when they're installed internally. Of course an SSD is going to perform faster than a tr traditional hard drive. Nobody's going to dispute that. But I think that this form of SSD is really a mute point. To install or plug in an SSD that costs you $200 that only gives you 512 gigabytes of storage is just, in my opinion, completely ridiculous. To me, there are a thousand better options for Xbox One owners, but if you want the best of the best, the Clem de la Clem, then Seagate's Xbox One SSD is probably for you. I'll never get this. I'm telling you that now. I'm not going to spend $200 or 500 gigs of storage. I'm just not going to do it unless it's going into my laptop or a place that's really going to matter. But I know there's people out there who probably will pick up something like this, so let me know if that's you. Let me know in the comments below. Is a $200 512 gigabyte SSD worth it for your external storage for your Xbox One? Let me know below. Be sure to give a thumbs up and show support for the channel. Join the Facebook group, follow me on Twitter, and check out BeastlyGamer.com. I'm the Beastly Gamer, and I'll see you guys next time. Let it go.